Power Windows and DaVinci Resolve are essentially masks, allowing you to isolate parts of your color grade and effects. You can do things like isolate just the sky and make it a bit more dramatic, or you can do the classic select an ellipse, blur the face, and then apply tracking throughout the shot. Excellent. In the Windows panel, you have five different options, linear, circle, polygon, curves, and gradient. All of these can be used together or separately. Each window type has controls for transforming and softness. By default, the Windows controls are automatically enabled in the viewer. If for some reason you need to re-enable them, come down in the bottom left-hand corner, click the little arrow, and click on Power Windows. Most of the adjustments can be done right in the viewer, rotation, position, aspect ratio, softness, all that jazz. In the Windows area, you can click on this little area to add a label. To the right, we have two more options. This one inverts the window, and this one subtracts the window. Nice. We can also add additional windows in if necessary by clicking these buttons across the top. Now we're working with video here, so obviously these power windows have to move, so we can either move them manually or track them. We'll click the little tracking button up here. We're gonna wanna make sure that we are in tracker window. We're first going to click the power window that we wanna have track, and then we will click this button here to track forward and backwards. If you're not getting a good track, you can turn off the different parameters for zooming in, zooming out, tilting, panning, rotation, that sort of thing. If you're still not having a good track, there are different types of trackers. We have the cloud track, point tracker, and then we have IntelliTracker, which is more of a modern tracker. If for some reason our tracker has a slight hiccup, we can manually add keyframes by flipping this over to frame and then adjusting the tracker accordingly. What if we wanna make a correction to the opposite area? We can make a node that is the opposite of this current node by hitting Alter Option O to get an outside node. Or you can come up to the node window, right click, go to Add Node and go to Outside Node. A few little bonus points here. If you're initially starting off with a polygon, what you can see is we can just add additional points in and that's perfectly fine, but if for some reason, while you're doing that, you want it to be a Bezier curve, uh, the easiest way to do this is making sure that it's selected, clicking on the three little dots, clicking on Convert to Bezier. Now, all of these points will kind of work in the same way until we click and we can see the new one has it, but the old ones don't. So for an old point to have it, all you have to do is hold down Command or Control and click on a point, and then you'll have the handles there. Now, if you're just working on a curve, and then we go and we create the point. To actually create a curve, you're just going to click and then drag to create that point. Just remember that it's always good to name your power windows, especially if you have more than just the five defaults. Only the stuff that's applied to the current node will be affected by the power windows applied. When tracking, only the currently active power window will have the effects applied to it. And that's Power Windows in three minutes. Hit the like button if you'd like to see more short videos like this one.